it's been very difficult to, to pursue a woman's agenda, um, especially from an equality point of view. Uh, generally, there's a lot of talk about the place that women should have and the rights they should have, but it's not necessarily followed through with action. And I think one of the sad things um, about the demise of organisations like the Women's Coalition was the impetus behind the women's movement was lost. I think feminism within political parties and with government is a viable strategy provided it's used for the right reasons. Um, debate. Yeah. Then we get 14 minutes the DA. 14! Yes. I but think many men, probably the majority of men, are absolutely terrified of anyone who calls himself or herself a feminist because they kind of think that the, perhaps they're going to be undermined and they're going to be vilified in some way. And I think if feminism is used for the purest possible reasons, and that is to promote uh, equality of women, um, for me that would be the right way to do it. Politics is all about power, and a lot of it is about your connections and who you know and the spheres of influence that you operate in. Um, and in many cases, I think that's difficult for women to access. It became increasingly obvious that there was a need within the Democratic Alliance to have a women's organization. So we started the DA Women's Network with, with that in mind, to be able to empower women and to bring more women into the, the political sphere. And so we started it off as a um, almost a, a political training school um, to be able to, to groom women towards taking a more active role politically within the party, as opposed to a background role of working in the political offices and, and doing a more administrative role perhaps. Overwhelmingly what came out of that was a need within Dawn to fulfill more of a social role. And I think that comes out more or less from the very much impoverished role that the majority of, the, of women in this country come from, where the majority of women are unemployed, they have no, no means of creating some kind of income. So apart from wanting to become politically empowered, they want to be economically empowered. <laughs> I think it's generally acknowledged that um, poverty is, is the biggest problem in the country at the moment and with poverty hand in hand with that goes unemployment and it affects everybody in the country no matter whether you're male or female but I think particularly for women it's very hard if they have families and they have children and how do they get out of that. Probably one of the best pieces of legislation that was ever enacted was the Domestic Violence Act. But it's remarkable to me how very few women know about their rights in terms of that piece of legislation. And even more remarkable how many police stations and police officers uh, are not fully um, cognizant of what that means. One of the things that I do on a regular basis on my constituency visits um, and oversight visits when we go to police stations is to ask what is the training within, with the Domestic Violence Act and then actually to ask some questions and see if they really do know what I'm talking about. And it's in, it's, it's, it makes me really despair when I hear stories about abused women going into a police station looking for help and being told you know, re basically to, to be a good wife, mother, whatever and go back to that situation. I think I'm a feminist in that I believe strongly in the women's cause. Women should be treated as equal members of society and be able to take their place equally with everybody else in society, with the, whoever they are. And so from that point of view, I definitely am a feminist.